Hello, YouTube. It's Vince White. I'm an employment attorney, and uh, we're talking about we're talking about perhaps the third most famous of all employment attorneys in the U.S. Uh, of course, behind Gloria Allred out on the West Coast, who is uh, the OG, the original gangster of uh, female employment attorneys, who I certainly uh, applaud. Um, and uh, Dig Doug Wigdor here in New York, who is a uh, well, not here. I'm not. I'm not in New York, but down in New York, I should say. Who's uh, a quieter but still famous uh, employment attorney? And then you've got uh, Michael Avenatti, or as I like to call him, and as I say I've called him for many years, Avenatti. Um, he is in the news. Back last week, June second, he was sentenced to four years of prison time for stealing for, from Stormy Daniels. Um, now you may be saying, wait, wasn't that guy already sentenced like way back, maybe years ago? And the answer is yeah. Yeah, he was he was sentenced to two and a half years for uh, an extortion claim against Nike. So two and a half years back in the day, and now he's uh, unfortunately been sentenced. Well, I guess fortunately, because I'm glad. I'm glad that, uh, unfortunate for him, fortunate for society, because bad attorneys should be held accountable. Um He's been sentenced to four years, which may be additional, may run partially concurrent. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a criminal attorney, and I didn't read the sentencing guidelines. Um, but four years for stealing about $300,000 from Stormy Daniels. Normally, I would say allegedly, but he's been convicted, I believe. So that allegedly ship has, uh, has sailed. That is over. Um, Anyways, Avenatti, uh, you know, I never had the opportunity to meet him. Um, bit of a bit of a character. I enjoyed the uh, the press conferences. I'm not on Twitter, but I enjoyed the uh, the over the top insanity of it all. Uh, and I've always thought it was really regrettable um, that he was silenced. Listen, nobody nobody wants an insane employment attorney for uh, for president, right? That whole talk of like, Michael Avenatti is going to run for president. Okay, that was that was just the DNC being like, oh, we don't have any good politicians, right? But um, we don't we don't know who the country might like, so this guy's kind of popular right now, and he's he's a little scary and a little tough seeming, so may, maybe he'd be a good option, right? Um, but yeah, I don't think I don't think an employment attorney would make a good president, to be honest, and I certainly include myself in there. Um, we we learn a, a number of aggressive behaviors. And uh, those are probably not, probably not the correct behaviors to run a country. So that was always a bit ridiculous to me. And just the concept that this this guy of all people would become president was like, <laughs> it's just just absurd. Um, but yeah, I've always been bummed that he uh, slipped up and, and did these things because, you know, it takes uh, it takes a voice out of the conversation and. Um, I do think he provided a good megaphone for his clients. I think his clients, um, their cases got the attention they needed. They got the, they got zealous representation, perhaps too zealous, and perhaps you know dishonest as we see here. But um, there's something to be said for just being that monster for hire. And your client comes to you, your client's like, "Oh, this powerful person's harming me. What do we do?" And then the lawyer's like, "We mess him up." And then proceeds to do so. Like that was the value in my mind of um, Michael Avenatti. He he personified that that monster for hire thing that I think employment attorneys probably should um, hope to be. You know, ha have ambitions to become um, because that is it, it's the power dynamic, right? The clients they're outgunned, they're outnumbered. There's so many people who want to silence them, who want to push them down, who want to keep them from bringing their claims. They need, in my opinion, they need someone, a human being, who will go wild for them. And he did that. He did that. That's the one good thing you can say about the fella. Um, I don't know. I don't know the guy. Maybe he builds houses for homeless puppies and he's wonderful in his regular life. I don't know. Uh, I'm just saying, the one good thing I know about him was he went. He threw down. He, he was. He was ready, right? Um, which has real value, and uh, I do think our industry lacks um, 
sufficient numbers of those creatures, of those what I, of what I call the monster for hire, right? Oh, you've been wronged? All right. Put me in. Give me a percentage. Let's go, right? So I'm both bummed and like, I don't know. It's just, it's just crappy because that, you know, I, I, he probably helps some people. And then for him to end up like this is, uh, so <laughs> I guess that's all I have to say. Uh, take care, everyone. I'm going to try to do videos for the week. Uh, I will be traveling end of the week, Thursday, Friday, but I'm going to try to pre-can videos for you so that they are uh, going to come out and you will have videos. And I know some of you get a little feisty when you don't get your video. I'm sorry. I'm going to do what I can. Sorry about last week. It was wild.